Can you go to some We're on. We're on with Jenna. Hi, everybody. Hi. Um, we have Jenna in the house, and where can they find you? Let's talk about it. Oh my God, that's such a hard question. To okay, start we're going to set her up with a YouTube channel one of these days, but I'll put whatever link she wants below. But awesome. basically, Jenna is our YouTube family member. She was a More with Dara member, and we have been connecting just so beautifully while you've been here, right? Yeah. And so I'm just going to say really quick what I'm doing while Jenna speaks because she's going to tell us about something really cool that's incredibly helped my life since she's arrived into town about a week and a half ago. Yeah. Okay. So I'm making a little chopped salad with chopped kale, chopped broccoli, chopped cauliflower, chopped raw asparagus. Everything's raw. In a separate bowl, I'm going to mix olive oil, garlic powder, espalette, spicy pepper, um, just a titch of Kite Hill almond cream cheese to make it a little creamy, a little bit of salt, and that will be our dressed salad. So I can be doing something while Jenna is telling us anything she wants to tell oh. us. Oh, <laughs> wow. Um, well, should we start with human design? I think so. I yeah, think so. okay, cool. So um, I was telling Dara that actually was one of the first things we started talking about, but um, I was telling Dara that um, I had a, something done, which is like an astrology chart, but it's called human design. And um, it's kind of like astrology on steroids because it's like so specific. And the idea is that um, when someone reads your human design, it's kind of like your soul signature. So that whole expression of like what you, um, you know, you, your energy speaks before you even open your mouth. Um, is actually true and it's kind of that's kind of what it's all about because your aura and the energy that you hold in your chakras has a certain um, has a certain vibe that you give off that determines how you should be living your life it's really quite fascinating and um, there are five different types and you can get like a really basic reading for yourself on a site called mybodygraph.com um, and it will tell you whether you're um, one of five things so you can be a manifester you can be a generator, you can be a projector, you can be a reflector, or you can be a manifesting generator, which is like half manifester, half generator. Um, and basically what it is, is it will read all of your chakras and tell you which ones of your chakras are open and which ones are closed. Um, and an open chakra is kind of, um, let's say, where your deconditioning work has to sort of happen. So um, the kind of the, the lessons of society that you have to almost unlearn to co go back to like your true self mm -hmm. um, would be like your open chakras. And then your closed chakras, which are like defined and have your own energy, are kind of the ones that you bring to the world as your gifts. So um, it's really kind of interesting because what Wait, it tells you... Which chakras are the ones you bring? With the closed, the, the, the ones, ones that are colored? The ones that are colored. Are the gifts that chart. you bring. Yeah. Okay. Are like the things that you have defined about you. Like, okay. that you have, like, um, let's say, in your essence already. Okay. And then your kind of open ones, which will show up white on your chart, are the ones where you kind of really need to do some kind of, like, deep-seated oh. work It's so um, fascinating. I learned about it four years ago, um, may, at least four years ago. And I remember at the time just learning just that I was a projector. And just the thing learning about a projector that a we can't go out selling or pushing or things have to come to us whether it's love or business or like for example when I sold my jewelry I couldn't go out and sell it but mm -hmm. people could come to me that kind of thing and also understanding so the little few things that I knew about it gave me permission to just go ah oh, that's yeah. me that's how I'm gonna operate and I have been operating under those premises mm. since then yeah. and it's such a relief Oh, it's so huge. I looked at when you looked at the chart, it's almost mind boggling. Seriously, it's so confusing looking and you think, uh, but you could take Jenna showed me, you could just take a little piece of it at a time and Google about it or get that human design book that you mm -hmm. told me by Karen Curry. Yeah, it's called Understanding Human Design and it basically goes into all the more specific parts of your human design reading. Mm -hmm. um, but like obviously the most general parts are, are you a manifester, right. are you a generator? We can all figure that out. So if you look at the chart and it looks awful and confusing and too scientific, just know that you can just find out the basics about mm -hmm. yourself and that alone will it's be huge. so liberating. It's huge. It's so huge. Yeah, it's so huge because um, I guess the world is telling us to all be one way, which is like get out there and do things and push, push, push and you know, we all have to work the same way and we operate under the premise that we're all the same. 
you know, but we're not, mm -hmm. we're really not. And we're designed differently so that we can collaborate and come together and have our own gifts mm -hmm. and produce, um, you know, an optimal community, right? So um, the theory goes that you need, you know, some of each different types in proportion to kind of help right. and collaborate and come together. So it's kind of like if you understand, like, it's, it's like on simple terms, oh, someone's a Sagittarius and I'm a Capricorn, mm -hmm. and you can understand the differences. This goes deeper and bigger. And it um, allows us to live amongst each other and appreciate each other's gifts and go, aha, that's the way that you are, the, why you are the way you are. And if you understand me, I get to be me and be appreciated for my gifts and you get mm -hmm. to be you mm -hmm. and be appreciated. Yeah. And it's just helping. Um, I can't even tell you how much it's helping around here. It's awesome. It's completely changed my life too. Um, and every time I speak to someone about it, they're always like, oh my God, how do I not know this? Or wow, this sounds yeah. like really what I need. And yeah, it's, so it's, it's really cool. And actually there's not enough resources, I don't think, on it just yet. Like I think it will be the next astrology, but mm -hmm. it's very new. So, um, you know, people, I think it hasn't been around for very long at all. So, you know, right. the, the research and the number of people that specialize in it as a job and all that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. As a job, people. like there's not a lot of YouTube yeah. videos on it. No. I was like, what is this, a secret? Why yeah. As soon as I know about it, I'm going to be talking all about it pretty yeah. soon, you guys, because I'm learning about it. I know about myself. I know as a projector, I, I am meant to play. Like, yeah. I'm meant to not make it work, and I can't have too many meetings, and I can't overextend myself, mm -hmm. and that I do need extreme self care, and that I'm here to guide others. Yeah. Like, I've always had this feeling that I just know things, and I've figured out at this stage of the game how to help all of these people from the comfort of oh, yeah, not being drained mm -hmm. and being able to help people. And I'm invited, right? Mm -hmm. Think about it. Like, I can't go out and give people advice, even though I no. know things. I cannot give people advice. Something happens to the energy where it just yeah. goes, but if somebody says, Dara, I know you know things, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Then I can say it, and it's received. Whether they take it or whatever they do with it, that's their business, but I have to be invited. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing when I was a feng shui consultant. Really? I have to be invited into their yes. home, mm -hmm. and there has to be an exchange of energy, right. and then I could give my gifts. Yes, and often if... If you're a projector and you're watching this and you've done your my body graph, um, what you'll one of the things you'll learn is that even if you feel you know the answer to a situation, you cannot offer it without being asked to because uh, a projector, if we're not acting in the way that we're supposed to be acting, we come across as like pushy, controlling, bossy, just unpleasant to be around. No one wants oh, like things. My know it all. Me when I was little, yeah. I was like, you think you know everything? And yeah, I'm like, I kind of do. Like, yeah, exactly. But, but isn't that? Here's the thing: when someone says, "Well, how do I wait?" Okay, here's what you don't do. You don't just sit in a chair and wait, mm -mm. right? Like, what I think is that there's an incredible joy to saying, oh, I'm just supposed to follow my bliss. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to just be happy and do the things that make me happy. So mm -hmm. I'm not sitting in a chair waiting for somebody to come. I'm coloring. I'm lying in the sun. I'm making gorgeous raw food. Mm -hmm. I'm sharing it with you guys. Yeah. I'm doing, when I think of doing all the things that make me happy, mm -hmm. that doesn't mean I'm sitting in a chair. That means no. I'm waiting, doing my thing. Yeah. Right? And then that way you're calling other energies that are a match to yours to like you yours. by being in your highest expression of your vibration, basically. And so the more you can work on doing what you're supposed to be doing, life, you just, that's the part of it as well that applies to any type you are, is that like this immense trust in the universe. Mm -hmm. The universe is going to bring you exactly what you need if you're acting according to, to your who you are. soul signature. Right. Um, which right. is magic. Which is magic. So if you're a projector, great. You're a projector. If you're a generator, that's so great. If you're mm. a manifester, that's so great. Yeah. You could change the world. So each one is so great yeah. if we live according to who 100%. we are. Exactly. It's hard sometimes. Like when you're, we're like 22% of the population or mm -hmm. something. Yeah. Um, and we live in a world where there's more generating people out doing things, doing things. So mm -hmm. we feel like, I was literally thinking before you came, I was like, I'm really tired. Why do I need to rest so much? What yeah. am I doing with all this self-care? People, like I know people who hit the ground running. Yes. And they don't stop until they're done. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, huh. Yeah. <laughs> you know? If you're, if you're a projector, you can absolutely get like um, generator FOMO where you feel like you just wish you were someone who had like, was just like a go, go, go and sparky and dynamic and just always like from the second they get up until the minute they go to bed, they're just one of those people that just right. like, and they're just energizer bunnies. Um, and if you're a projector, you're certainly not an energizer bunny. And no. similarly, if you're um, a manifester, you are not supposed to be um, putting everything into action. 
Um, you're supposed to be the initiator. You're right. supposed to be starting. You're supposed to be the one that comes up with the movements. Um, Keep going. And then you basically hand that off to people who can execute it well and get stuff done. Manifestors get to change the world. Yeah. Guide proje projectors help guide people mm -hmm. so that they can change the world. But the manifestors get to be powerful and change yeah. the world. So and manifestors are the only type that are pure energy. They're pure energy beings, and they literally initiate energy. Like they just get it from the divine source. They just that's part of what they do. And we have been living in a manifesting uh, world up until super recently because. Basically, anyone who was like a king or invaded a country or started a movement or those were all manifestors, basically. Um, and so those kind of people, um, they just need to follow whatever their desires are. And the biggest, um, I guess, um, thing that they need to overcome is caring about what other people are going to think. So that's often what holds a manifestor mm -hmm. back is they feel like, oh, some people like me, some people don't like me. What if I do this? And you know, I'm going to lose a lot of friends along the way. But how um, powerful to know that not everybody has to like you. Yeah. Like, you can be okay with just mm -hmm. being you instead yes. of fierce mm -hmm. in, your, in your way. Mm -hmm. um, and manifestors are always those people that when they walk in the room, the room changes, the room notices. And mm -hmm. they're usually magnetic, but they also have a repelling thing. So they'll draw the right people to them and keep the people who are not um, correct for them away. So it's just the way that your aura operates. It's like it draws in what's correct and, and takes away what isn't. Um, and so often manifestors have to just become okay with the fact that they need to follow what's tugging at their soul and just run with it because they can, which is mm -hmm. kind of amazing. That's pretty um, powerful. And the one thing the manifestor also needs to do is to inform their loved ones what they're going to do because um, let's say you're on some kind of really fast track, often manifestors move really fast, mm -hmm. um, and your loved ones can sometimes feel a bit left behind by, you know, the fact that you're just like blazing a trail. So you need to always be like, this is what I'm thinking of doing, just so I'm including you. Do you want in on this? Like, how do you feel about it? Like, right. all that kind of thing. Right. So they, because they, that's what they're supposed to do, they're supposed to gather the troops, they're supposed to bring people together, they start the movement. So it's right. always about communication and manifesting. And leading and mm -hmm. group gathering. Yeah. So yeah. manifestors often have um, to work on get, getting very clear at communication and mm -hmm. feeling, making other people feel loved and, mm -hmm. and also trying to feel loved for other people at the same time. And what about generators? Because that's 77% of the population. So many of you, I'll be interested to know, so just post below what you yeah. are. Because it'd be interesting to know pe what the majority of people interested in what we're up to here yeah. in my style. It'd be interesting mm. to know if yeah. there are generators and there are yeah, manifestors yeah. if you're all projectors. I doubt it. I'm sure there's plenty of generators. Yeah. So what about there generators? So um, so 70% of the population is either um, a manifestor or a man uh, sorry um, a generator or a manifesting generator. Um, so I'll talk about the generator first because okay. they're manifesting. Thank manifesting you so much. generators are mixed. So <laughs> generators are here to become masters of the craft. That's what a generator is here to do. They're, they're supposed to come here and make their dream a reality on this planet, basically. They're supposed to bring stuff to, to fruition. And um, generators are those people who are really good at, um, let's say, if you teach them how to play piano, they'll, they'll get a surge of um, mastery straight away. Um, the thing that holds the generator back is they'll usually plateau at some point. In the learning process or in the work process or in their let's say if you're starting a business as a generator mm -hmm. um, you'll often get frustrated at some point let's say when you're almost just there just about to crack it you'll start to feel frustration because you haven't had that initial surge of mastery that's still behind you like the novelty starts to wear off um, and you start to get frustrated because you're like well where's this going you almost want to quit you have had enough and then of it. what do you do what do they recommend that you do so they recommend that the you know the thing for the generator is to really have faith in um the universe you know that if something was lighting you up and that's the way to go you need to finish the job ah yes and yeah. i heard that they need to i heard i heard or i read that they need to really trust their instincts yes and if they just think they're going somewhere let's say on a monday but it doesn't feel right to not go yes right so they're the one I mean, we all think we know ourselves well, but the generators are the only people who actually do know themselves well. And that's because they have a defined sacral chakra, which isn't um, as vulnerable, let's say, to other people's energies coming in and out. Like, they're the only people that are really actually truly self-aware. 
So a generator yeah. is the real, like, listen to your gut, go with your gut, like, what you feel is what you should do. If you don't feel like doing something on that day, do not do it. Um, often, if they're stuck, they say that you should always ask yourself a yes or no question, like, bring it down to, because I might say to you, like, where shall we go, kind of thing, and that's an unspecific question, but if you're a generator, mm -hmm. you should be asking yourself, do I want to go to this or this? Do I want to go to... Oh, yes so or no. Where, should, where do yes. I want to go? You want to oh, be making some really specific food. Okay. So that you can have, like, the gut that reaction. That gut reaction, like, this feels good. Yes. Okay. That's Which we don't have. If you're a projector, you don't have a gut reaction because, well, you what do. do you, mean? you do, but your gut is very um, conditioned. Mutable? Yes, and it's very conditioned on uh, other people's energies, um, you, any given day. The fact that you are um, uh -huh. just it gets affected by other people. Yes. yes, it gets affected by like somebody else could be in the house and you could be picking up on their anxiety and you could maybe feel anxiety about going somewhere, but it's not really real yes. as to the place you're going. So you have to spend some time like sorting out who's mm -hmm. who and what's what. Yeah. Um, whereas it, whereas a generator will just your gut will always give you the answer. It's funny, my intuition, I never say comes from here, my intuition yeah, it's like probably. information from up there. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, interesting. Exactly, so that whole listen to your gut thing is, again, for like most of the population, which is generators or manifesting generators, they should listen to their guts. But we can't actually trust so our So what gut. are we supposed to trust? We're supposed to um, make sure that we're always clear mm -hmm. so that we can make decisions, but we're not really there to make decisions in the sense that we can make decisions for ourselves. Yeah. We're not there to make decisions about life or the way that things are gonna move forward. We're not supposed to um, carry stuff out. So we're just there to be like, give you this nudge along the way or repoint you in the right direction or whatever. And in order to be able to do that, you have to be just really clear. Um, you have to- Which is why I need raw food and why yeah. I need to eat, be vegan and why I need to get sun and mm -hmm. have a lot of self care. Mm -hmm. Cause when I've taken care of myself, I can be clear. Yeah. And generators and manifesting generators need a lot of exercise because they have that motor that's just always running, that's pushing them through life and giving them all that energizer bunny energy. Mm -hmm. um, they need to wear themselves out every single day before they go to bed. And I don't mean like fry yourself until you feel completely crazy, but their body, your body needs to move every day in order to really get good sleep. Because right. otherwise, people have a lot of generators will get like insomnia from not sleeping properly and, and it can waiting be like, for a second wave and all. I wonder like how many of them feel disappointed about being who they are. Like when I first mm -hmm. read it, I was like, what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I yeah. can't do this and I don't get to do that. And only when I started to realize what I get to do, mm -hmm. then I got happy. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Like at first I was like, wait, I don't get out, I don't get to manifest things. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I was like, wait, I get to just be happy. Mm -hmm. I get to, so yeah. when we really, we can look at the uh, challenges to our personality. That's kind of the point of human design. Mm -hmm. Like it's not just going, oh, everything's good. It's like, no. these are your challenges mm -hmm. and this is how you can navigate. Yes, yes. And this acceptance of like, okay, so we're not supposed to each be all out for ourselves and do it and compete with everybody else. Mm -hmm. It's like, we all have specific talents that we're supposed to come together and share and that's when we get the most, you know, so this is why, yeah, this is why we want, we wanted, we wanted to do this video because A, it's helped Jenna like incredibly Immensely, with relationships. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's helped me just in the past week and a half going, aha, yes, that makes sense. Yes, this is working. Yes, I have permission. And yes, I'm going to do it my way. Yeah. And then we want to help everyone understand who they are because yeah. the world seriously will be a better place, not only by eating raw food and getting clean, clear and bright, but this in in in, in you and also using navigational tools mm -hmm. to help us yeah navigate through life yeah like, how do you like work there's tricky yourself? times what mm -hmm. do you do it's so fascinating it's really I mean this is just giving this up but if you go yes, deep in course. it it's like wow um, this is then, like your starter video yeah where you get to go off on your own and teach me <laughs> things research, yeah um, but it's cool and then so you have manifesting generators who um, they have the energy of the manifestor, so they have that initiation energy. They can start whatever they want, whenever they want. They don't need to wait for the universe to respond. But they also have a bit of the generator in them. So a manifesting generator is different from a generator in the sense that generators are here to make one thing their craft. They're here to perfect something. They're here because they're supposed to be the masters of a specific ah. subject. And they're also here to um, 
be the ones who execute. They're the ones that are like really good at making, getting things done. Manifesting generators. Um, they often have a different creative process because they will love to try like a ton of things I at one time. I can't believe this. I have a friend who, um, Mitch, <clears throat> we found out years ago that he was a manifesting generator and he literally tries every healing modality. He's testing every single thing mm -hmm. and I'm like, oh my God, like, yeah. I don't do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They, they try love to play with loads of different things at a time. Mm -hmm. So you'll often see like if a manifesting generator is in their essence, maybe they're like, They've got three businesses that are completely different going on or they, you know, they just want to go everywhere all at the same time or that kind of thing. And if you have a manifesting generation in your life, you need to probably um, respect the fact that that's part of what inspires and fuels their creative process. Let them go. Yeah. So don't think that they're like, you know, flimsy or flaky or any of that kind of stuff. They, that's just how they create. Mm -hmm. And um, Karen Curry was saying that if the generator and a manifesting generator start a project at the same time... It might look for at first that the manifesting generator is getting there faster because they have that manifesting energy in mm -hmm. them. But the generator will always catch up because the generator is there perfecting the craft, doing the thing, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. Let me so, check and make sure we're still on because I forgot to turn off. Um, no, we're great. I forgot to um, put it on airplane mode. We're oh. great. We're at about 20 minutes. It's usually when we can start losing people. Awesome. So, <laughs> um, I wanted to so try it. still here. Yeah, you're still here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they're still here. You guys are still with us. We love so, you. <laughs> so, um, it's just about really understanding that you can't be all things to all people and that um, you have to play mm -hmm. to your strengths and you have to work on the things that you can't. And so, manifesting generators and generators are here to dance with life, mm -hmm. which means that they... Um, Say you want to get something done, mm -hmm. you are very good at engaging with the universe. So where the projector needs to be invited, a generator just needs a sign and they can act. A manifester Wait, doesn't need a sign. A projector needs to be invited, meaning mm -hmm. like someone has to say, hey, I'm giving a talk. It's you, uh, We want you to come to Snapchat and give a talk. Mm -hmm. We want you to show up at Whole Foods and do a demo. That's yeah. happened to me and that's why I've gone. I yeah. will never go and say, I'd like to give a talk. It just... Yeah. Whereas a manifesto should sure. tell people what they want to do. I before. want this. I'm going to do this. I'm going if to you're do on this. My, if you're on my train, great. Okay. If you're not, that's fine okay. too. But this is what I'm doing. Do you want to come on board? Like, that's okay. a good manifesto. Like, do you want to come with me? This is my love plan. It. And we love that because we it's love like, somebody to tell us what their plan is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's good. It's fun. It's yeah. the best. Um, and so, um, what were they saying before this about? Okay, so, so a manifesto mm -hmm. is here to initiate energy. They literally don't need to wait for anything from the universe. They start. A manifesting generator and a generator both have that energy of they need to dance with life. So what they need to do is set their intentions, get very clear on what they want, what their desires are, because that's what they're here to make a reality. Mm -hmm. um, and then wait for a sign, not an invitation, but a sign. So a sign would be like, um, you know, I really want to find the house of my dreams. They don't need to have like their most amazing Which house show this? up on their door generator. Okay. Mm -hmm. They don't need to have the most amazing house show up on their door. Like, no, it's not about not engaging in life at all, but it's just right. about, okay, um, I'm, I'm going to need a brochure. I'm going to need this. I'm going to need that. Set your intentions and then mm -hmm. life will dance with you. Again, you really need to trust that the universe is going to respond to you no matter what your type is. And then, um, so you have a manifesto who just starts not waiting for a sign, not waiting for the universe to engage. You have a generator who dances with life, mm -hmm. who engages. The synchronicities will show up. Mm -hmm. um, the signs will come. The universe will get behind you. You'll all of a sudden have all your resources. Mm -hmm. Oh, so pretty. Thank you. Um, you'll all of a sudden have all the resources you need that will come to you. And then you have a projector who really needs to trust that the universe is going to come to you and engage with what it is that you want. So yeah. you almost are getting guided yourself because you're not out there deciding how it's going to pan out and how it's going to roll out and blah, blah, blah. It and takes often. a lot of faith. It takes a lot of faith because it takes a lot of faith you because get, we're not taught to have that kind of faith. And you get a lot of people being like, well, do you want to know? Aren't you going to do this? And aren't you going to well, do that? Well, they tell us to do things. You should do this. And yeah. aren't, why don't you have this? And did yeah. you go there? And why don't you go tell these people yeah. about what you're doing? We're not supposed to have, we can have, have a strategy. We can try and figure out how to know what we would do in the situation, that kind of thing. But we're not supposed to be, we're not supposed to trying to be super generators, like getting hands everything up, done. We put our hands up and go, what you got, universe? Yeah. Like, huh? Yeah. You know, so there's differences to all of them. And then on the other mm -hmm. extreme, you have reflectors. 
I don't know what is that like. What are they? Just, we heard Sandra Bullock is a reflector. If you want to know like famous people, yeah. Like, who? How? How do projectors? Who's successful? And she was yeah. like, Obama is a projector, yeah. and President Obama is a reject, uh, projector. Who um, is a reflector? Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock. It's one percent of the population. Who yeah. are they? What if are they? If you're a reflector out there, That's you're like, so cool. We want to know who you are. Yeah. Everyone needs a reflector in their life. Why? What, so uh, the reflector actually was supposed to be a benefit to their whole society because they literally have all of their centers are white. What? Yeah. Wow. So the reflector's health is a reflection of the society that they live in. So if you, um, reflectors often feel pain so deeply and they have like so much empathy and so much, um, uh, they can just like be in your body. Do you know what I mean? So easily. Do you know what I mean? Because oh. they have nothing of themselves that's defined. So they're literally there to be um, re like reflecting the general health of society. Like if a reflector is happy in your life, you know that the people oh. around the reflector are, are happy people too. And conversely, if the reflector is sad. And if you're a reflector, they say that your strategy before making a decision in life is always to wait 28 days because they're lunar beings. Mm -hmm. So they're ruled mm -hmm. by the moon. Yeah. They have, you have to wait 28 days to make a decision about what to do with your life. So even if your gut's telling you something in that moment, even if your head's telling you something in that moment, you cannot trust any of that. You have to wait 28 days to make the decision, which in wow. today's society is so hard. It's so hard. Mm -hmm. um, and you have to surround yourself with really good friends who can and bounce and stuff off you. And probably not a cheating husband, boyfriend like she had. No, 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 that would not be good. No, that would be good for anybody, horrible. but that would be horrible yeah. for her. It's just harder um, if you have... I mean, if you have really open th open chakras, yeah. you can you cannot know yourself. You don't have an own identity, and that's in that place. Right. So, like for us projectors, um, we often don't know. Like our sacral chakra is so open to other people's things that we have no um, essence of it ourselves. You know what I mean? So that second chakra is like where creativity, sexuality, engaging with the world, all of that stuff comes out. It's so it's kind of like if, if it, it was a bug, it would be prone to infection. Right. It kind of like, wow, it's kind of like I really like certain things like libidos attached to one person, mm -hmm. um, whoever you're involved with, it gets attached yes. to that person. Your creativity can really be inspired by a person mm -hmm. or go dormant. Yes. Like, that's why it's so helpful. I find it to be mm -hmm. so helpful to have people like you yeah. in my life because it lifts things up and it's like, it's sparkly and exciting where mm -hmm. if I'm with someone who's filled with anxiety or anger, yeah. it blows up in me. It's like yes. a... Yes. So projectors, um, they will amplify someone else's energy inside them. So sometimes if you're a projector and you feel you're around someone and it just feels so kind of icky inside, your heart, it's yeah. because you genuinely are taking in that person's energy. It's multiplying by 10 on like a huge broadcaster inside you and you're feeling all of that so intensely and deeply. <coughs> Um, which is kind of why you can't trust that it's you. You can't think that what you're feeling is you. Do you see what I'm saying? And even less with the reflector because nothing that they're feeling is them. Because they have everything open. Right. So they need to surround themselves with good friends, good people. They need to bounce ideas off everybody. Like anytime you need to, like reflectors need to talk a lot and get everything out. Because there's nothing that is in them that is them. They're just wow. completely undefined. They're there. It's like a gift to society. It's kind of amazing. This is so cool. So we can't wait to hear what you are. And then, of course, there's specifics to each person's body graph. But um, I did have a problem on my body graph. Just so you know, nobody get frustrated. I did go to look up somebody else's chart, and it would not go through. It was not accepting a date. And then on another person, it wasn't accepting the country. Oh. So I don't know why. Um, no. So give it. Your shot. There's other sites, I'm sure, that do free human mm -hmm. design. There's so. one called Jovian. Yeah, so Google it, free yeah. human design chart. And then if you're lucky and you know someone who reads and you trust their integrity because the words that somebody says can be like McDonald's or can be like the highest, finest raw food. Yeah. So we're going to be on the lookout for, yeah. you know, totally. readers that we love. And mm -hmm. let's just, uh, let's find out for ourselves. And yeah. now you get to try your beautiful oh my God, dish. I'm so excited. I have to say, though, we're just speaking out of experience. We're not like experts yeah, on the no, whole no, thing. No. <laughs> but this is just the just wanted, a big outline that's like hopefully if you're meant to hear this then Yeah, you will. we wanna we we yeah, we just wanna let you know what we're up to. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so thank you so much, Jenna. Oh my so god, such a pleasure. Okay, so fun. You this is amazing. Thank let you. everybody know how it was. Wow, I'm so excited. Fresh, lovely. Oh right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And it hits the rawness out of you know sometimes like Raw broccoli, raw cauliflower, raw kale. Mm -hmm. 
have a bite to it. Mm-hmm. This is so um, kind of softened. Yeah. yeah. Thank so you. Good. Thank wow. you. So we'll see you guys soon because we want to do more before well, we want to do more while she's here. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Wow. This I is don't so know. Good. I think. Uh,